In the years following the World War, we proposed the Washington Naval Treaty. This treaty will regulate the construction of battleships as well as every other ship. This puts tonnage limits on each ship and will hopefully reduce the likelihood of any naval arms races. Tensions are basically non-existent between us and the other countries, and strong alliances might be made with parts of Europe. War is very unlikely between us anyway, and hopefully this will continue through the rest of the decade. We ended up building new cruisers as the ones from the First World War were very obsolete, and their destroyers weren't much better. But we did retain nine of our old battleships since we can't build any more right now. Hello and welcome back to another Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts video. Today, we gotta restart a campaign because the new update screwed me over. Yeah. But hey, this update contains some really good stuff. So, um, how about doing the American campaign? What do you think of that? Mm, delicious. And the 1920s is a cool decade, so I think we're gonna kick it off there as well. Ooh, traditional superpower. So how if I just do 1920s, so that way we can... Actually, no way. Just thought of something. Why don't we do... No, pre-World War One. Nah, that sounds kind of... Kind of, uh, dumb. So, yeah, let's just do this. All right. Empty slot. Oh, yes. Yes, we can do this now. Okay. Good, 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 good. So if I get a cool campaign idea, I can just have five different ones going at the same time. Nice. All right, here we go. Well, now that it's done waiting for 7,000 years, to get done with this, alright? It's loaded finally. Be able to go and do a thing. Alright. Would you look at over here? Look at all these ports and stuff. Hey! The North Carolina is currently sitting there. Okay, I can make stuff of. Philadelphia Navy Yard, New York also has stuff. How about East Coast and uh, West Coast? They got stuff too. And Pearl Harbor is over there as well. All right. So what I plan to do here with this is, uh, what, Canada exists? Huh. Okay. Well, I, anyway, what I plan to do is, battleship-wise, I want to build all the battleships that were existing up to this point. Meaning, the cutoff... If I'm doing my research right, is the Colorado class. And there were three of them actually constructed. But I'm going to do four so that way I can have two for the Atlantic and two for the Pacific. So let's get to the ship design, shall we? New design. So here we have a hull. Now I just gotta look at a good picture of the Colorado, see if it's a good one or not. And no, it's not. Uh, this is subpar. Uh, there is not really a good hull for these guys yet. So I might actually hold off on that class. 
So, I mean, this almost looks like a Pennsylvania hole. So I guess we'll go with Pennsylvania class. Just have to look up one of these to get the information because I had the um, Colorado open because I was going to build that, but now I'm not. Alright, so let's start off with here we go. Missouri. That's like 20 years too early. Uh, let's see. Displacement. Let's go with the deep load number. Whoops, that sounds actually kind of weird, but that's what they call it. It's the real, real terminology. All right, let's see. All right, I can't make it any smaller than that. Let's see, there's speed. That's actually pretty close. I'm going to get exact numbers because I'm like that. Look at that exact numbers. See so the range. Not good enough. Geared. All right, natural. I'll adjust that later. I actually don't know if these got the modernization yet for coal for deleting coal firing. All right, so for now, I will just edit this to the best of my abilities Let's see where's the actual like weird plan behinky. there it is length is too long but I can't do anything about that I went with that hole I might be able to do it but it doesn't look right hold on now that kind of looks that's English for sure, so I can't use that. So, eh, uh, that's sad. Hopefully I can get a different hole that will closely match Colorado, because I think it'd be nice to have that. Might be able to at least get beam and draft right. Beam is too much. Okay, I guess I'm just going to have to end up with a ship that's a little too big. But that allows me to do a little bit more. Okay. Let's just go to balance. Steering. Does it have anything about this? No. But with around this age, I'd assume it would be around hydraulic. And let's find the armor.
All right. Doesn't say anything about the hulls, but as this is a standard type battleship, I'd think they would have put triple on it. Good bulkheads. Torpedo protection on this would be basically non-existent, but I'm gonna give it some so that way it doesn't immediately bite the dust. Cup armor definitely would have that. See what Krupp 3 does. Citadel. Well, I don't have much of a choice. Main belt. Oh, that's exactly spot on. Wow, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's do a. Hello, can I click on that? No. Uh, okay, do that, that. Um, you, 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 and you. I'll figure that out later. You don't want it to die. And there. Alright, that. I need 8 inches on this as well. Can you let me put 8 inches on there? Uh, no, my mic. This is painful. All because I want to put some stupid numbers in a stupid thing. Just in case the game doesn't completely round it. There, we'll find that out later. Main deck. Uh, and da da da. Da da da. That's a lot of armor up there. Just do one because that's a healthy, not 21. That would be really, really heavy. <laughs> um, I'm just not going to touch that. So here, now we get to actually start building a building. All right. Pennsylvania, let me see a picture of you. It was not a flush deck, but I have no choice. This is the best I can do. I am sorry if it's not 100% accurate, but you won't be. But at least it'll look half decent. 
All right. Main tower. Postmodernization is a what it'll need to be. And this doesn't look too far off. This will be better for the center, because at least on Arizona anyway, most of the like casemates were migrated up into the superstructure bit right here. So I might be able to do this. Honestly, that doesn't look too bad. Tunnel. That's about right. Yeah. Close enough. Rear tower. None of these really suit the aesthetic I'm looking for, though. Yeah, I could do partial cage mass, but that would look dumb. Because I can't do full cage mass, because the other ones look terrible. So, how about I just do this and call it good? Even though it's far from that. Alright, far bet time. Fourteens, triple fourteens. These don't even look accurate. And it's already too big. They're not big but overweight. That's a small problem. No, it wasn't. No, it did. Hold on. What's this whole weight thing doing? It's weird. Yeah, if this was overweight, I'd be concerned. Because I barely have anything on it. Place that there. Oh no, what are these? Whoa. These turrets look interesting. <laughs> Alright. Give. Not two barrel. Three barrel. I mean, if you looked at it from afar, maybe? Just maybe. You could tell it would be the Pennsylvania. <sighs> That's a lot of engine efficiency. How about we don't do force draft? Balance? That's still too. Oh, no, it's good. We're good. Just having an aneurysm, don't worry. Alright, 5 inch guns. How many do I want? Yes. All of them. And 3 inchers. How many of these do I want? Also, yes. I. Remember correctly, there's four of these things on each side. Alright. These were for anti-air use, but 
seeing as aircraft carriers don't exist yet, and I'm not too sure if there's actually any plans of adding them. They really don't serve that much of a purpose, other than historical accuracy. That one's pointing the wrong way. There we go. Okay, that's... It's pretty bare bones, but... Could be worse. And there's tons of room for... Extra stuff like this. Barbette armor... How about that? And turrets. Well, seeing as the fronts of turrets are always over-armored, um, seemingly, but it's for a good reason. Yeah, 18-inch armor on the face of the guns. And then I'm assuming the 5 is for the top. Barbette armor. I... 13. That's a terrible number. But we're rolling with it. I don't get to fiddle with barbed armor for these guys, unfortunately. So yeah, that kind of stinks, but... Uh, radio, all of it, acoustics, all of it, shell size, gigantic, ammo, yes, propellant, whichever one will make me blow up less, shells, um, Explosive D, because that's historically accurate. Nose. Capped. How about Giga Capped? Alright, good. Standard ratio, because that's just generally a good idea. Advanced hydraulics, it's electrical, you idiots. Um. By the way, I'm going to have to use the same exact hull for the Texas, because I want to do that as well. Standard reloading? Oh, this... Reloading for this kind of sucked, honestly. Let's see what the current reload rate is. Like, the fire rate. Oh, a minute? Okay. Uh, Let's shorten that down just by a little bit. Fifty-nine, still a lot. Of... And it's too fat for that. Okay. Looks like we're stuck with this. And I actually haven't changed any crew yet. The crew complement. All right, that's more than the actual ship had. So as long as this thing stays back like it was designed to. Pretty certain it will be fine. Alright. Ship one done. Of the battleships, anyway. Now we get to design a new ship. Alright, let's look at what came before. The Nevadas. Oh, these are the funky ones. With the funny turret layouts. Oh wow, <laughs> I didn't even change the name yet, and it already just spawned like that. That's funny. Then I'll have to go back another step to the New York class. I'll just leave small uh, speed. 20.5. Range, all of it. Alright, now I get to 
first. So this this is pre-refit. Don't worry, when it gets to 1927, I will refit all of these. Alright, well first I should probably see... Propulsion Triple Expansion. I can't do that, so we'll just leave it at that. Uh, shift the shaft there. Boom. Balanced Hydro. Diesels as well. Torpedo protection, hold a little, triple, giga bulkhead, triple back as well for you. Just quit poking holes in me, I don't want to drown. Alright. Belt armor. It's almost like they're starting to standardize these or something, because they have the same belt armor. This guy is at a 16. See, they know what they were doing. I remember last campaign, I tried to stick around that. Which, I'm really mad I didn't get to do the last campaign fully. I really, that ticked me off. A turret face armor on these guys was anywhere from 18 to 16 inch. Should I just average it out and go with the 17? Now that's the real question. And I think I'll go with 17. But first... It needs a superstructure. So, here we go. I think I'll have to use this one again. Unfortunately. And then I get to put one of these back here. Uh, that guy. Schwack that up there. Gonna go with dual barrels. Still mad that these don't look right. Probably will do like a couple of researching. There we go, got that. Honestly, not looking too bad. Oh yeah, that's right. This is the on the bottom turret. It's this right here. Alright. I've had a brain fart. I didn't realize I wasn't doing the New Yorks yet. <laughs> well, I'm an idiot. Oh, uh, that's not looking too bad so far. These ships were kind of weird, honestly. Like, There we go. Images, I said images. Wow, post-modernization, these things looked so nice. Post two modernizations. Okay, these guys also were not flush deck, so that's another thing I can't control. Uh, this tower looks good enough. Well, 
literally the only thing you'll be able to tell the difference of the two ships by so far is well for one it'll be gun placement and two it'll be like secondary battery placement anyway and two will be how many barrels the turrets have and that's it let's get that guy up there and put one of you down here And yes, I should shrink this in a bit. Now get that guy. Ooh, the hair actually does look better for this ship anyway. Honestly, I'd have to say the worst tower does. Back. There, let's find this here. No, yes, place that on up there. We're getting closer because for some reason they didn't like to see out of this thing. Like, look at that. That's just, that's bad. I guess what they, that's what the guys up here are for. Alright. Now with that, see how many crew members the thing had. Okay, now B. Just give it one bump. There. Good enough. Give you some cool stuff. Really cool stuff. Some radio. radio. And still got room to mess with this. Historically accurate there, and uh... hmm. that's actually more historically accurate for this, honestly. I'll use those. Gonna standardize all that. Hydraulics, electrical, more like it. Uh, right. Gonna do some turret armor. Average it out, 17. And I'll just assume probably round 5. Barbet armor. Well, let's just make it a nice round number. Actually, no, wait. It has barbet here, doesn't it? Yes. 13 as well. What's with the U.S. Navy and 13-inch armor? I'd love to know. 45 caliber guns, we're good. Oh, the 5-inchers are 51 calibers. Good hat. Ooh, two torpedo tubes. Uh, torpedoes? I don't want to use those, so I'm just not gonna bother with that. Uh, the 21 5 inches I can do. Oh, almost. And these guys are what caliber right now? 45. Let's do that.
That makes me 52. Fifty-one. Will that bump make it knock it over now? I'm gonna bump it up until it registers fifty-two. Okay. Longest caliber I can achieve right there. Yes, I did say longest, so yeah. Let's see how many five inches does it have now? Only 14. Ah, it weighs too much. I can't. Aw, oh, man. That sucks. Well, is that mostly historically accurate? So now I gotta go back to the Pennsylvania, do some editing, and change like the gun calibers and stuff. Well, I just read that I needed to do this. All or nothing, but I cannot really get that right now. So I guess I'll, uh, do some upgrading to them later. Yay! 51 caliber. 5 inches are 51 caliber. So it'll be a thirteen percent. You gotta be kidding. Oh, it's just barely overweight. Oh man. That's not good. Alright, ten. Fine, twenty. All right, well, uh, looks like I won't be able to get the full calibers that I need out of the 3-inch guns. And seeing as the pitch is pretty bad, that kind of sucks. Why does the pitch matter? Because I said so. It's, it's bad. All right, fixed it. Okay. Pennsylvania, I save you. Nevada. Your boilers are bad. And you're too fat now. <laughs> Deleting that 5-inch gun had no effect. Reduced. What about balance? That's way too heavy. What if I give it geared instead? See, I don't want to do that. Because... It's not historically accurate. But hey, I guess I'm doing what I have to do. Well, if I started in, like, 1890, and I could have worked my way up to this point, and I would have had all this, if I was laying each ship out by year, I would have had all that. So that's kind of my fault. Whoops. Alright, and quarters are fine. So let's move on to 
Let's see if... When were the New Mexicos built? And can I even do those? Yeah, I can. They look pretty nice, honestly. Oh, and then I can even go on to the Tennessees. Never mind, the Tennessees look kind of... Oh, interesting. They don't... I don't have the proper holes for them yet. So, New Mexico's... They might be the newest ships that I'm able to build. Actually, wait. Is that a Tennessee hole? No, it's not. It's not. That's bad. That's sad. I am now sad. Glad I'm not using this thing. This thing would have been awful to work with. Alright. Alright, New Mexico class time. Actually, yeah, let's do some New Mexico's. There we go. Displacement is length is actually over six hundred. Apparently. So that's actually, oh, that's almost perfect. Just one foot too short. So why don't I just. Make it as big as I can. There we go. All right. Beam is way too big, and I can't shrink it good enough. Draft is extremely close. If anything, I need more, which I can't add because I'm too poor. Well, if I do that, and then add the draft. Thirty feet, six inches is as close as I'll get. Alright, now I get to add that, uh, give it some gear, uh, let's get cool boilers, not yet, I'll do that later, do that, and that as well, alright, speed, 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 where are you, exactly 21 knots, that is delicious. Range all of it. A little bit of that, some of that, a good chunk of that. Sure. Why not? And yeah. armor. That's basically that's perfect. Uh, this is not perfect. Let's fix that real quick. Deck armor. And that's the only detail I'm given, so I will estimate for the rest of it. See, a good rule of thumb I always use is divide this by 2, and that should work for the rest of it. But I feel like US being the US would probably do 1.5 inches. Conning Tower. 11.5. That's not going to cause any issues now, will it? And gun time. Okay. 
Cage Mask will not suit these, and they are also not flush decks. So, yeah. Let's just see how crappy the Cage Mask <laughs> If I was building in South Carolina, maybe. But I'm pretty certain that South Carolina got decommissioned long ago. Okay, well, I guess I'll have to use this one. This one stack is more of like a weird looking circle, dude. Let's see if I do that. Alright. Rear tower. That one. Shebang. And let's get. These are 50 cal guns, so I think we'll be pretty good. Alright, center line. Three barrel. Time to make it 50 cal, as well as good anti flash. Rangefinder, Giga, Radio, all of them. Let's do a Hydro too, because why not? Enhance the electric. It's taken 10 years to switch between the designs. <sighs> Alright, let's see. Do I have all that calm stuff uh, down here? Enhanced, yay! Cool. Alright. Uh, I'll save you. Yeah, save. New Mexico, back to you. And now, since I have to do some standard battleship stuff, now this is like when we just get into like really fun standard battleships. 45 caliber, so why don't I bump your length up to 13 to get 51 caliber, which is just simply too large. 10. Well, let me do 11. Yes. How about 12? 12 is now not good. This is perfect. 50 caliber guns. Now we get to get a barbette. Maybe an enlarged would look better. For this turret, though. Yes, it's actually perfect. I mean. Hmm, that won't look too bad. Once again, have to block the vision of everybody. There. Now we get another enlarged, yeah. More 14 inch guns. Place you out there. Now I get to have, oh, 16 inch is available, they're only Mark 1s. This is Mark III at least. No. There, yeah. That's 13 inch, that's no good. Yeah. Perfect. I want to shrink this in a bit. And then bring the turrets in with it. Have less of a weight offset. 
this looks exactly like the Pennsylvania. Because I can't do much about that. You can't design the holes super intricately, but eh, I can do a good as about as good as we can. Uh, let's get casemate guns. Bang, ring. Bang and bang. Alright, yeah, there's only two in the front. So, give it proper armament. I can't see how many in the back from that picture angle. But I'll just go with the, the safe guesstimate and say two. Not, I'm now searching up a Mark 15 torpedo, and I don't know why. Okay, it says nothing at, alright, turret face armor, 18 inch. Basically already there. Let's do 5, and let's assume 13, since it's been all that for the rest of them. Is it still 51 caliber? Yes. There's 14 of them somehow. 1, 2, 3, 4. 14 stinking guns everywhere. I don't know how they crammed them all in. I don't want to know, honestly. Semi. Giga cat. Standard eyes. Okay. I believe after I complete this class, we'll finally be able to work on the New York class. And I'll have to go back in them and see how many were built of each. And then decide how many I should put in reserves and how many I should put in the active fleet. Reserves will be sitting in Philadelphia with a mothball fleet. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Alright. So. Hmm. What to do now? Oh, yeah. More guns. So we're at. Alright. Eight five inch guns so far. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Okay, that's eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. All right, now we need three, uh, four, three inches on each side. Alright, I'm gonna have to break away from historical accuracy. I'm sorry, I have to put a third gun up here. Just to get the number of 5 inch guns correct. Cause, actually, wait. Might just be able to shove it there. No, won't move that, you idiot. Okay. Now we get this. Put you in there. It now has the proper amount of guns. There we go. Four, fourteen. 5 inch guns and all those 3 inch guns, that's a lot of guns. Alright, now what I get to do is find where all those guns are. Actually, I can look at the crew complement as well. One, 
2081. Which is all this? And adjust the. All right, we're shoving six extra dudes in there. Please don't ask how. We don't smuggle them under the floorboards, I swear. Okay. We now have. Uh, let's see. We now have a New Mexico. Which honestly doesn't look that bad. Now that we have a New Mexico, get to go back to now look at the New York class. And this, keep in mind, this is only Battleship so far. Alright, New York. And I don't think I want the Wyomings. No. We can skip the Wyomings. They weren't that important. You know, they're only just turret farms after all. They just like the Nevada here. And its efficiency is garbage. So why don't we change that? I think I might have to go with the foil here. Even then it won't work. So how about we delete you and replace you with this. Perfection. Let's switch back to coal now, which is how uh, heavy, coal be heavy. Well, that's why. Good induced. Oh, never mind. This works. That works. Somehow. The displacement got lowered a lot. I don't know how, but this works, so I won't complain. Alright. I can't save it because it's too big. Good. Alright, that works. <laughs> Uh, but wait, I did that for length reasons, didn't I? Good enough. New York, New York. Time to do the New York class because I can. All right, let's see. We all need to know what was the length. Absolutely puny is how long. Long. Never mind. Actually, I don't know what ship that would have been. What ship is this for? Wait a second. I get to do my pre treaty, the last pre treaty ship. Colorado with that thing. Er, yeah, whichever one. Whichever one I was gonna do, then I couldn't do because I thought there wasn't a hole. The beam is big. Oh, rather small, rather, rather, well, I'm speaking weird now. Whoopsie, not bad. 
draft is good enough. And range all of it. Propulsion you. Not you. 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 Anti flood all of it. So. Um. Bang. Well, bang. All right. Now I get to start working on the army. And speed's 21, never mind. I won't work on the army yet. I'll just make it 21 knots. And speaking of the New York class, fun fact, USS Texas is currently in dry dock. If you are a warship nerd like me, you've probably known this for quite a while now. But anyway, it's in dry dock. Getting some well, well-deserved and needed repairs. Uh, let's see. Armor. Twelve inch. Ten. Let's see, what, let me do that on here. Nope. Okay, well, I guess I'm keeping that now. And three, because why not? A ten inch all around is going to be way too heavy. So... Well, I need to compromise a little bit with an 8 inch. And if I have more weight, I will use it. Armor. Ooh, I get. This time I get casemate armor. Nice. Uh. Decks. There's no deck armor information. So I'll just wing it. About what everything else has been as far as 6 and 3. Something I find interesting is I actually get. Conning tower information, but they can't give me the deck information. Ugh. Idiots. You know what? Screw it. 10 inch. There we go. Good, good, good. And here comes the fun part. <laughs> Glace and turrets everywhere. But again, I could use this. Wait, can I actually use that? No, I can't. It's not good enough. No. No. Come on. Yeah, the actual real superstructure parts behind it are just too tall. And good looking. Alright, that's bad. So, I guess we'll be rocking with... This one saves weight. Get you and honestly, I should probably should have been using this the whole time. Ooh, I don't think I can fit that. How about I'll build out the funnel and stuff in here? Then hopefully get the guns in. And again, it needs 14 inches. Grab you. Oh, that's perfect, except it looks disgusting. Let's see if this guy will cut it. I 
Okay, that does look much better, except that deck thing is floating. Get a large, that looks dumb. And now there's floating lifeboats. I think I'll just have to say screw it and go with the weird or funny looking overhang. Oh. <laughs> Ew. Actually, that mesh is kind of nice in a weird way. Because it changed almost nothing. No floaty boats. But that perfect. Alright, that's good enough. And now if I remember the order of the turrets, which I don't. Now I'm gonna have to look up use this take this. Let's see, is this giving me a better angle? No, but the, it has, since when did that have two final now? Did they delete one? Uh, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Alright. Temporarily closed. I wonder why. Yeah, they deleted a funnel. Huh. Might be looking at me like I'm an idiot right now. Well, you can't be looking at me. Joke's on you. But you might think that I'm an idiot, which you're not wrong. But I just forgot what all kind of modernizations were done. So, yeah. <laughs> Secondary tower. That works. Mains again. I'm gonna do this standard bobette. Schwack that down there. Get some 14 inch guns. Schwack these on top of there. Looks like that'll have to do, and the real one's guns are kind of far off on the edge, too. Cool. Oh, I might actually be able to tuck this turret in closer. Maybe he's changing the shape of the citadel like that will change something good. This guy in. Perfect. Alright. Alright, we have an issue. I haven't even started putting anything in, and it's already really heavy. Don't worry, I know real one has triple expansion, but then again, I can't use that. I guess it's considered obsolete now. Which, I mean, they're not wrong. Kind of a miraculous thing was still in service anyway. Well, it was. Range finder, all of it. Delicious. Meh. Enhanced, because it's just gonna shoot too slow otherwise. 
All of it. I might not be able to do that. Ooh, this is cutting it close. Fortite, screw you. Two powder. All of it. And there we go. It's too fat. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, I barely have any weight left to do this. Ah. Uh, okay. It's... Ooh, this is right on the edge. Alright, look at the turret armor. Ooh. Face is only 14. Oh, that's, that's going to go bad. Five, barbet, twelve. I'll go with eleven. All right. Armament is twenty. Twenty-one five inches. No, no thanks. Uh, not that many. I'll just fill these casemate slots. If I can afford the weight anyway. I can! And then it gets too heavy when I get that. But now I get to edit the casemate armor. Well first, these are probably 51 caliber I'd assume. And now... I get to edit the case maker. Shoo, it's 11 inches, which is way too heavy. Do that. I don't buy that. Hmm. Alright, gotta sacrifice something. What if I give it oil? Semi oil. I'll just give it full oil. I guess the good stuff today. And it leaves more space for the other 20 guns. Which I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve of. Okay. Now what I gotta do is no, oh, that's twelve. I can't do that there. Okay, never mind. That's good enough, I'd say. Ooh, this extra weight gets me some crew stuff. And right now, dead. Standard. Oh, wow. That's actually perfect. That's, oh no, it's dyslexic. Never mind. Okay, so it, it we're swap this in here and we're looking at the same number of crews the real one so i'd say this is a close close enough replica well i take replica with a grain of salt there all right pitch is always going to be bad with these old ships because they're quite compact and yeah uh, probably for cruisers and destroyers and all that, I'll just make a really generic treaty design, like treaty era design. Because the naval treaty technically has begun. Well, not technically, it already has. The Wyoming's. Uh, I'm not building those. And apparently... 
There was a Florida class. Huh. What he really talks about, though. And North Dakota, the North Dakota should be in service right now. Which I do have the proper hull to build. South Carolinas are only in service for another two years, and the North Dakotas are only in service for another three years. The Floridas go till uh, 1941, but. I don't know if I want to build it though. Let's see. Nope, I they're not good Colorado holes. The ones that I was looking at. So, it looks like we'll be holding off on battleships. Anyway, four classes to start out is not that bad. Especially if I build the actual amounts that they had. It's gonna be pretty good. So, yeah. 1937, we're getting the North Carolinas. Oh yeah. <laughs> That'll be fun. And then after that, we'll get the South Dakotas. And the Iowas. Or I could also do Montanas. I think that'd be a cool... Cool little twist to build Montanas with the Iowas. Alright. Alright, cruiser time. If you this battleships were took long enough to watch, so how about I just cut back to when I'm done with these cruisers? Alright, see you then. Alright. I finished the designs and here they are. First on we'll take a look at is the heavy cruiser. So basically what this is is just Guns. Guns everywhere, wherever I can fit them, and a couple torpedoes. These guys will be able to do depth charges, which is always nice. And they have 18 inch torpedoes, so don't want to get hit by it, but it could be worse. And these are eight these are eight inch guns and secondaries are five inch as normal. And basically what this is right here, the all these five inches are just destroyers that get away, you will die. If the eight inch guns didn't make it obvious enough. So now we move on to the light cruiser. Here's the light cruiser, its engines are kind of butt. Uh, couldn't really do much about that one. Uh, it's going 32 knots. I guess I could have lowered that, but... Yeah, here we go. We have 5-inch guns for the primary. Come down here, we have 3-inchers. Another 5-inch gun sandwiched by torpedoes. And then, some more 5-inch guns. And this one will be able to be doing mine laying and depth charges. Yeah, that's really cool. Now we move to the destroyer. Until I can get bigger destroyers, this is about what I came up with. It's pretty alright. Not terrible. Uh, it's 
I wish this number could be bigger, but it doesn't let me. I need to do research first. And we have two uh, twin turret, five inch guns, and six torpedoes on each side. That will do a lot of damage. If they make their mark anyway. So yeah, it's the Navy so far. I think... I think we go order some battleships and stuff now. Actually, no, I'll do that off camera so that we get to look at the... Uh, let's see, which one's my favorite? Oh, let's do New York because a fellow member is in dry dock right now. And yeah, that will do it for today's video. I will leave this off with the beautiful view of the New York. And I'll see you in the next one. Which, it might be something different. Because it's coming out tomorrow. So it has that for it. But, yeah. I mean, just for the next video, if you like it, just let me know. Then I'll know to do more of that. And it's a surprise. You will find out what it is. You might find it hilarious, or you might find it extremely dumb. You may just find it the second biggest bra moment of the entire channel. At least I do, anyway. But, that's to come later. And before you can watch that, I have to finish this one. So, see you later. Hope you had a good day. I don't know, get like a tea or something. Tea always brings some good mood for me. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're excited to see these U.S. warships face off against the Japanese and Germans, then please be sure to stick around for the next one. Goodbye.